the channel or welcome if you are new, I'm Eliandra and welcome back to another mythical bedroom build. <laughs> I know I've done a lot of bedrooms lately but I've been having so much fun with it and last time, was it last week or earlier this week? It must have been last week. I think. <laughs> I posted a mermaid themed bedroom and you guys really really loved it and you wanted to see more like magical bedrooms so today we are doing a fairy forest bedroom. Magical fairy forest. That was kind of the vibe that I was going for. At least when I think of fairies or you know like elves kind of. I think of them living in forest and I think a lot of plants etc. I really like how this room turn out. I was supposed to post a video yesterday. I'm really sorry that I didn't. I swear I started at least four different builds and I finished two of them and I hated them. <laughs> they were not good enough. They were just, they were bad. So I was, I gave up. I literally, I just, I just gave up. I tried so many times and nothing was working. So I'm sorry, <laughs> but that happened. I gave up, but I had a brainstorming session earlier today and I've written down a lot of uh, ideas for videos and I've already recorded three videos today. So, and I also have like one backup video. <laughs> so there should be videos coming out just regularly just fine the rest of the week i'm really sorry that i've missed a few days lately as you guys know i've been going through um just a little bit of a rough time but it, it's getting better so don't worry about me just sorry for my channel and all of you guys waiting for new videos but here we are today oh and i recorded with face cam earlier today <laughs> I recorded um, a cast challenge, so that should hopefully be coming out this weekend. It is my first like um, gameplay face cam video, apart from obviously my uh, face reveal video, so probably really awkward and I'm gonna need to edit it and like stare at my face for the entire recording and I'm gonna hate it and I'm gonna be like, no, I look horrible <laughs> and I'm gonna delete the whole thing. Hopefully not and hopefully that comes out um, later this week, this weekend. I also have like some new content coming out uh, soon so I hope you guys will like it if you don't don't worry <laughs> it'll be okay I'm not changing my entire channel of course not anyways <laughs> back into the room I was first thinking this would be like a child's room but nah it's not it's not is it it's more for like definitely could be for an adult or a teenager for sure um I'm using like the child curtains though around the bed but I just thought they fit in really well with the theme I was going for and this wallpaper is kind of the very like kitty one it's meant for kids bedrooms or kids rooms because you know it has like drawn little butterflies on it and a grass but I just I thought it was perfect like literally like when I started building this I knew I wanted to go for this wallpaper because it was it, like it represents the whole forest theme and I made the floor this dark green rug that I thought would be like grass so I really like it and I used a lot of wall decals here because we have two different trees as wall decals one of them oh actually I don't know where they're from <laughs> one of them is probably from cats and dogs the other one might be from the toddler update I don't remember maybe it's from somewhere else but they're trees, so I use them to make the walls like look more like a forest, that there's trees around. And then I put a little bit of greenery, like wall greenery on here, like a little bit of ivy uh, here behind the bookshelves. But I didn't go crazy with it. I thought it would look a little bit weird inside. And also the greenery or the like, ivy gets a really weird shadow on it if you put it inside a room instead of outside a house it just it looks really dark and it has a shadow so it doesn't look too good same with some of these objects when you lift them up or like size them down they have really uh not so good looking shadows on them so that's a big shame i hope that gets fixed at some point i swear this little um succulent group on this little <laughs> A stool as well also turns really really dark at some point like it completely lost all light to it don't know what happened but anyways oh my god my my like basic thought for this room was that I wanted the bed to be surrounded by the curtains so it was kind of like a well you know those curtains in real life that we don't have in the sims where it's like above your bed and it's like hanging from this circle and it like goes all around your bed and it looks amazing it's like a little princess theme I had that when I was a kid but obviously we don't have that in the sims like a circle 
curtain thing going around your bed. So I made my own and I wasn't going to make this room a square, or it's not a square, sorry, a rectangle. I wasn't going to, but I just started it off that way because I thought I would just change it a little bit and add it, add into it to make it look more interesting, but I forgot and I left it as a rectangle. So sorry about that, but I guess that does make it easier for you to actually be able to put this in a house because sometimes when you have rooms that have like million different like I don't know like parts to them it's really hard to put it in a house I personally have never downloaded a room off the gallery to put into a build because I always build my own houses but I'm sure a lot of you guys do do that so this one should be quite easy to put in and you have windows only on one wall but obviously they can be replaced or completely taken off. I also wanted to have a lot of fairy lights in this room because you know it literally has the word fairy in it and we're building a fairy forest bedroom so I put a lot on the walls, on the windows and I put wine going across the entire room as well which is the wine, oh is it from the toddler? stuff back I think so we've got so many plants around and I used a lot of these like chairs and the ottoman that are made from like logs so it's a very like natural vibe in here and I really like the end result I feel like this would be such a peaceful room to stay in or to have as your bedroom I feel like you could really really relax in here and I hope you guys like it if you want to download this off the gallery you can find it under my username which is Eliandra YT or on under the hashtag Eliandra and definitely let me know down below in the comments what other room builds you would still like to see me do, what other magical mythical creatures there still are. I was trying to build a unicorn room yesterday but I just hated it so if you have ideas what you think a unicorn room would look like definitely let me know down below in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're new here. I post new Sims 4 videos pretty much every single day except sometimes when I have builder's block but here we are I hope you guys are having a great day thank you so much for watching this and I'll see you guys again tomorrow bye this time I'm a win it this time I'm a win it